previous chapter, we have seen that we have to copy, create our own business document type to represent the business process that we are trying to model. If we are trying to model a contract, you create a new document type for contract, you copy it from contract. Now, why do we need to copy? Why not use the standard template provided by SAP? After all, SAP has done so much work and research and figured out that these are the properties of a quotation, use it. Why don't we just use it? The reason is pretty simple. A template is a template. You're supposed to use a template to create your own and modify it accordingly. So here is a template for a quotation, right? If you go here, and this is the template, and these are all the different sections, like whatever sections in the template. And the template has number ranges and general control, some controls. So on. these are the different sections in the standard template provided by SAP called a quotation. And I'm saying, go make a copy of it and create your own like so. So you've got quotation and this button over here will create a copy. So use this button to copy and create your own. See, it says specify target entries. And then you go here and say Z. Um, let's say we are doing it for Hollywood, some production house in Hollywood. So Z, H, and then QT, and then Hollywood quote. And then when this pops up, Say yes. And then you change the name here, right? Miss that step. So I'm going to put that here as well. So change, change the name to something else. Z X X X. And then give a description. Give description. And then when this pop up comes up, click yes. And then save it. So it's going to take some time and ask you for what is called as a customization or customizing request. So what you got to do here is for now, just go and click on this button. It's very similar to the way that we have seen customization in enterprise structure, right? So I go here, go out, click on this button, and give a description. Say, um, create Z H Q T quote, save it. Right, and you get this picture, you get this pop up again, right, and then click on this button, and then it'll save it, and then create your custom template called Z Hollywood quotation. Now, why are we going through this procedure? Why not just use it as it is? Like I said, a template is a template. It's supposed to be used only as a reference. So SAP has provided this for reference. So use it, copy it, and then change the properties. There are a couple of reasons why we have to do it this way. This is the standard SAP approach to configure 
any module, not just SD, MM, PP, you take any module, it's the same thing. SAP provides some configuration. If you want to use it, make a copy, create your own, and then start to modify things. That will better suit your requirements or your business processes. We'll see some examples of changes. But before that, let me talk about another point. So when we do this copy, this the name of this document type is QT, right? And then I did ZHQT. I didn't just do HQT for Hollywood quotation, right? It's just four characters after all. See, one, two, three, four. That's it. That's the unique code that identifies that sales document type in SAP. Why did I use a Z? Why did I start with a Z? Why couldn't I just have said HQT? There's something called as namespace. Okay, so what's a namespace? Namespace is something that tells SAP what's the starting letter. Well, there are many definitions for it, but for now, Let's just say that the starting letter dictates the namespace, meaning when SAP delivers a new document type in the next release, say for example, the current release is 4.7. The release as in software release, right? We have different versions of Windows. So let's think about Windows for a bit. So there was Windows XP, and then there is that was released in 2000 or 95 whenever and then there is windows vista and then there is windows whatever right like um, say uh, windows 7 and then there is windows 8 so on right these are all the different versions versions of the software so similarly sap has many versions it started with 2.0, 3.0, 3.1, and then 4.6, and then 4.7. I don't really want to talk about all the different versions, but one of the major versions is 4.7. And then there was ECC 6.0. Between that, there was 5.0. And in ECC 6.0, there are different enhancement packs or service packs, like enhancement pack 1, enhancement pack 2. So a software is is evolutionary in nature right with each enhancement or version sap is going to provide us so much more additional functionality and for example in the next release let's say current release is enhancement one and in the next release sap is going to tell us or give us an additional piece of functionality in the quotation maybe a little checkbox here that makes quotation behave in a very different way trying to encompass more business scenarios or maybe sap wants to give us a different quotation type specifically for media houses in hollywood say hqt if it happens to be hqt the one that sap delivers in ehp2 then if you have created HQT as a copy of QT, this is going to be overridden and your business process stops with that upgrade. Which means when you upgrade from this to this, well, you're not going to do the upgrade. Your system admin of SAP is going to do the upgrade. That There's going to be a whole bunch of testing and so on. So it's not something that happens out of the blue, understandable. But when you do this upgrade, and if SAP has come up with a new quotation for Hollywood in an enhancement pack too, then you'll have to create a new version, say HQ1 as a copy of QT and use it to represent your business process. Whereas, because SAP has overridden your business process with a starting name of H. Now, 
it's not fair right why should sap override anything that's already configured you know what you're doing so why should this enhancement or the next version override what you're doing it boils down to the fact that sap is a packaged software it provides out of the box functionality and that's what it's good at so it provides the functionality use it if you don't want to use it make a copy create your own start it with a z or a y these are the only namespace that's allowed for us and anything else starting with a b c d e f g h j k l and then x up until x sap reserves the namespace so that any enhancement that it provides as part of the next version of the software can start with any of these alphabets but y and z are special they are called customer reserve namespace <laughs> what is that so this means that anything that starts any kind of configuration be it a document type or whatever that starts with a z or a y is respected in an upgrade meaning that sap will not override them because sap will not deliver them in the first place and that's what is the use of starting with a y or a z now this is a little too much at this point i understand but no worries as you keep doing this configuration make sure that whenever you start a new document type always start it or a item category or any other configuration except for some things like enterprise structure they are exempt because sap does not deliver enterprise structure elements by default so 1000 3000 company codes they are not delivered by default in any sap installation so you can have any numbers or anything you don't need to start it with a y or z but any other piece of configuration like document types item categories billing document types this or that they all have to start with a z or a y and that's called as a customer reserve namespace right the second point is why are we copying like i said we have always got to copy from the nearest clone right so if you want to model a quotation you went to qt and created z hollywood quotation if you are working in this coal digging company and you want to create a quotation for a coal coal mining company maybe you'll have z something c qt and the properties of this is going to be different from the properties of this what properties the properties could be anything that we have specified here you know any of these are all all these are properties and any of them could be different you could go change it from 70 to 80 you could go change this from ag to cn if it's permitted of course you could go change it from 05 to 06 now i understand we have not seen these things yet we don't know what they are but these are like the different levers that control the entire business process so if you change something the behavior changes and that's what i mean by the nearest clone so when you want to create your own business process copy it from the nearest clone and then start it with a z or a y as a matter of principle and then start changing the properties behind it so with this you should be able to understand what is a document type why is it called as a template why you should copy and then create your own template instead of overriding the existing document type and what is the namespace that you should be using to create your own document types in the next chapters we'll start exploring the different fields inside the document type